the one man who protected the woman he loved. And together they raised her son, the savior of the world. German, uh, I mean, Saint Joseph, action hero. Today we're talking about the ultimate strong and silent type. Literally. Scripture doesn't recount one word he spoke, but it does show this guy was a man of action and a righteous dude. Even though Saint Joseph doesn't say a word in scripture, he played a vital role in salvation by dedicating his life to the Son of God. Matthew's Gospel introduces Joseph as a righteous man. So when he finds out that Mary is with child, even before they're married, he decides to divorce her quietly rather than subject her to punishment for adultery, death by stoning. The angel Gabriel appears to Joseph and tells him that Mary hasn't been unfaithful, but has conceived the Son of God and that he shouldn't be afraid to marry her. So what does Joseph do? Matthew says, when Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. In his life, Joseph gets a lot of messages from God and always comes through. Name him Jesus. Take your wife and child and flee to Egypt. Okay, Herod is bad, come back from Egypt. But Archelaus is bad too, raise Jesus in Nazareth. When God calls us to do things that don't necessarily line up with our life plan, we should look to St. Joseph for inspiration. Sometimes there are greater things happening that we don't see at the time. We can take these opportunities to show our devotion to God through our actions. For instance, the prophets said that the Messiah would be of the house of David, and Joseph's great, great, 21 more greats grandfather was King David. So Joseph being the legal father of Jesus was a plan God had been working on for a while. But it still took Joseph saying yes, and even though Catholics believe that Joseph and Mary didn't consummate their marriage, they were still husband and wife, and Joseph was still the earthly father of Jesus. He protected and cared for Mary and Jesus, taught Jesus his trade as a craftsman, which, by the way, is why St. Joseph is the patron of workers, and tradition says he led the family until he died, with Jesus and Mary at his side, which is why he's also the patron of a happy death. I'm Libby, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out our channel on YouTube and subscribe.